us over line that Pastor Cosma is Uchian. I bless the Lord for this day that has given me the opportunity to stand before you and minister the word of God. I would like us to pray before we start. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand before you this wonderful morning. We say thank you for who you are. Your grace that has brought us today, we honor. Be with us in this service today as we minister of your word. Guide us by your spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Somebody say amen. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to take us one more step today in regard to the theme message that we are working on as a church this year. That is receiving many honors from the Lord. I would like to deliver on one key to the, uh, for unlocking our honors, and this shall be obedience. I want to talk briefly about obedience and how important it is to help believers receive the honors from the Lord. And when I talk about honors, I'm talking about the things that God do to us based on our response to his calling. How God honors, how God shows us favor, how God rewards us for uh, doing and responding to his voice. I would like to read uh, from a scripture very fast before I introduce uh, my message. Allow me to read this in the book of John chapter 2. Uh, the book of John chapter 2, I will read just verse 1 and then I will jump a little bit. On the third day there was a wedding at Canaan Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus was invited to the wedding with his disciples. When the, the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, Woman, what does this have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. Verse 5. His mother said to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Amen. Doing whatever he tells you. Let me refine, uh, define briefly uh, uh, what I mean by obedience. Obedience is compliance with an order or law, submission to another's authority. So, we are reading from the book of John where Jesus and his disciples, together with his mother, were invited to a wedding. And the Bible says that in the midst of dining and celebrating in this wedding, the wine ran out. And the Bible says that uh, when the wine ran out, the mother of Jesus noticed the lack of the shortage. And the Bible says that Jesus, the, the mother of Jesus went to Jesus straight away and told him, man, these guys have no more wine to feed the guests. I don't see the mother of Jesus engaged on the discussion with the attendants, with those who are serving the wine. But I assume that as a guest who was very concerned about the success of this wedding. 
She noticed the shortage and she knew where the answer could come from. It was the first miracle that Jesus was to perform in his life on this world. And the Bible says that uh, Jesus kind of complained and rebuked the mother. But the mother of Jesus did not argue with Jesus, brethren. The mother of Jesus went to the attendant, those who were serving, those who were men, the ushers, the, the protocol officers who were serving this wedding, who were taking care of the guests, and told them, men, whatever it tells you, do it. I want to tell you, brethren, the difference between achieving that which we need to get and the lack is clear and is known, and not getting it is based squarely on our ability to obey the voice. And so the mother of Jesus did not give them details of what they will be told. But she gave them one good condition. That whatever he tells you, just do it. And therefore, Jesus moves on. And Jesus tells them, guys, bring the pot, bring the jars together. And Jesus instructs them to add water into all of them. Adding water to all the jars, and then he tells them, take a sample and take it to the wine tester. And the Bible says, if you read down there, that the wine that came out of this process was much sweeter, was much tastier than the previous wine. Ladies and gentlemen, listen to me and listen carefully. Our ability to obey God's voice determines the end result of our lives. You may be desiring many things to happen to your life, and you may have a formula on how you want them to happen, but I've come to remind you, just obey the voice of the Lord. It may not look so familiar. It may not look so professional. It may not look so researched, but I come to tell you, the will of God is so perfect, and because the Bible says the wine was much tastier than the previous wine. Therefore, it means when we begin to obey the voice of God, our result in our lives will be more magnificent than the previous experience of life that we had. The way people knew us before, when we start to obey the voice of the Lord, our life will be so different. Take it from me today. Anything that God gets to do that requires your obedience, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter number 1 verse 18, that if you are careful and obedient, you shall eat the best of the land. And we see that here. It's so much confirmed that the best of the wine came after the access of obedience. It came after these people obeyed the voice of the Lord. I know, in every occasion, in every wedding, there are plans for the committees. They planned. They identified the right people to do the wine. It was done professionally. It was done in the run of the right protocols. But when Jesus came into the picture, by the invitation of obedience, the Bible says the wine was much better. I want to tell you today, whatever God has ever told you to do in your life, in your family, in your ministry, no matter how it looks like, I mean, wine is not just made by pouring water into jars and having people to test it. That is not the process of men. It defeats the logics of science. Just to put water into the jars and have it wine. There's a miracle that has to take place. It may not look familiar. It may not look as what your professor told you. It may not look like what you did study in school. But because God has spoken about it, just do it. He says, take it. And see if I will not open up the flags of heaven and pour my blessings. He says, test me. Brethren, whatever it is, it is the ministry, it is your family, it is business, whatever voice that you have heard, just do it. Obey it, and you shall eat the best of the land. God bless you, and keep following the voice of God, whatever it is, and you shall enjoy the benefit and the best on the land of the living. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you today for talking to us about your word. 
Because your word can only be followed under a spirit of obedience. And so I pray the Lord, everyone who has listened to me preach your word this morning, you will help them, O oh God, to obey and to follow. That, Lord, they may enjoy the best of the land. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. Thank you. God bless you.